perfectly balanced. As all things should be. I hope they remember you. Yo, 10 years in the making with the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and we are finally here with Avengers Infinity War. And if you know me, you know that uh, Infinity War was my second most anticipated film of the entire year. The first one was Black Panther that came out. It was great. I loved it. But now we are finally here with Avengers Infinity War. And, you know, I had a lot of expectations. And really, guys, I don't want to waste your time. Let's just go ahead and get into all the nitty gritty. My name is Brendan Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. <laughs> yes yes i'm not even gonna waste all time i love this movie yes like real talk okay like i'm, I'm filming this right now what time is it it is uh 10 58 central standard time Thursday night, I just got back from the theaters. You know, I, I had to switch it up on you guys. I'm, I'm not excited. This is Avengers Infinity War. You know what I'm saying? We got to do it right. This is my second most anticipated film um, of the entire year. So, you know, of course, I got my Captain America over here. I got my Thor. The Amazing Spider-Man got this nice little album makes post that was given out. Got another Captain America. Iron Man right here. You know, and then we're going, oh, don't forget about the Hulk. And then, you know, we got X-Men because we're, we're hoping that 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 uh, that Disney Fox deal goes through and that it is, it is approved. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review of Avengers Infinity War, my second most anticipated film of the year. I really do appreciate it. Now, this is going to be a non-spoilery review, a non-spoiler review. I'm not going to tell no spoilers. If you do want my spoilers, you can subscribe to my channel, please, and come back on Saturday because uh, I just got back from seeing this in IMAX, guys, uh, and I'll talk about that in a second, but I'm going to see it again Saturday at 1130 in the morning. Um, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna see it in IMAX again too. And after that, I'm gonna come home and do my spoiler review after that. So if you want me to, you know, so yeah, spoilers, I'm, I'm coming after that. I might see it again Friday. Um, now I, I, I'm going to take my time and give you my review, my opinion of this, of this film here that I love so much. And, uh, I'm, I, you know, I just want to let you guys know that I did something before I saw this movie that I ever done before. Usually I have a rule within myself to where, Brandon, if you're going to give your critique, your opinion, your thoughts on the film, do not watch or read any other reviews out there by any other critics, pundits, or whatever, because... With me, at least, and I've heard other people do that, too. When you do that, you tend to, by mistake, subconsciously mimic or say similar things that somebody else said in the review. So I didn't want to do that. But again, this is Avengers Infinity War. I'm super hyped. I couldn't wait. So there was, an, I didn't read any reviews, but there was a number of reviews that I saw on YouTube. And I know the people that I watched. I can trust them to not spoil anything. And nobody spoiled anything. But what I really found out that nobody really just gave a clear indication of, you know, their likes and dislikes. Everybody was just so vague and afraid to give spoilers and this and that. And I respect that. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? Y'all are keeping the real, uh, my brothers and sisters in the film community. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to do that. Now, I'm not going to spoil anything here, but whether there is a character that I liked or didn't like, I'm going to talk about that. If there is somebody made a dumb decision or a smart decision, I'm going to talk about this. So if you don't want to know that at all, let's just say that there's a character in this movie called uh, Globber Man. Okay, there's no such a vendor called Globber Man. If Globber Man did something amazing in this movie, did something mediocre or stupid, I'm going to talk about that. Like Globber Man did this. It was great. Globber Man did that. It was dumb. I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about real characters. I'm talking about. So if you don't want to do, if you don't even want to know that, then you should just turn the video off now or you can uh, add it to your watch later list and come back, you know, at a later time. So I got my preface and disclaimers and all that out the way. Let's go ahead and get into this movie. Thanos is a mother effing boss like man. Like, I, 
Like, the best villain in the whole MCU across the board. I liked him better than Loki. I liked him better than, um, um, not, not finna say Audra Killian, the Iron Man 3 villain. No, 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 no. The Vulture character, Michael Keaton, I liked him better than that. I even liked him better than Killmonger. And Killmonger to me, I don't really like calling him a villain, you know what I'm saying? Because I understand where the brother is coming from, you know. But he was better than that. Thanos, like, like seriously... The dude is a crazy maniac, you know what I'm saying, wanting to destroy half the universe. You know all this from the trailers. But at the same time, he does give you a very great reason of to why he feels this way. And you've heard it before and you've seen all the reviews and stuff. But, like, but seriously, going into this... Um, Hold on, let me, and let me let me back up before I talk about Thanos. When I saw all these other, the reason why I, I said I didn't even give you a point of why I said that. I'm, I'm just so excited, guys, and you, you're, you'll know why in a second. The reason why I wanted to watch other people's reviews before I saw this one is because you guys look, look, I mean, look around me. You know what I'm saying? I love comic book stuff. This is my favorite, you know, um, cinematic movies like of all time. These are my favorite movies. And in the MCU, I enjoy all these films. And, you know, but there's been a few times where I saw this movie, this movie, my expectations were so high and I left a, a movie or two a little bit disappointed. So I did not want to do that. I just wanted to go in here and go into this movie, you know, uh, expecting the, you know, um, to be maybe slightly disappointed here and there and things like this. So I just wanted to go in with my expectations, you know, and check. And I was going in like, okay, it's not going to be perfect. I, I'm going to go in expecting like an 8.59. So I just had to let y'all know that. But Thanos is a boss. Like as soon as you see him on screen, you know what I'm saying? He just grabs you and like he just, he just, he, he demands your respect and your attention. And he just, you know, he just has this authority about him to where, you know, you can't do anything but acknowledge him. And the great thing about his character is he's not doing it on purpose that's just part of who he is and his charisma his swag like loki for instance you know he had to stand on top of a mountain and pro proclaim you know just how great and awesome yes i am the real son of asgard and you know the ruler of the throne and blah blah this and that it's like no thanos can just be over here just chilling like this I'm Thanos. And you're going to be like, yeah, you you Thanos. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if he wasn't in all these other previous films and, you know, this is like the first time you've ever seen him. And when they got like snippets of him before, like he he is just like, you know, like a badass villain. And I, I loved him. Um, something else I just want to jump into real quick is the action. I am so over like that doesn't even make sense. I'm 100 percent satisfied with the action. Me personally, guys. I was the loudest person in the theater and I felt bad about it, but I was literally geeking and jumping and going like this and hitting my homebrew like this at certain action beats in this movie. Like it was just so dang dope. Like it was the action in this movie was like a dream come true. Have you ever watched any of the other MCU movies and just kind of just thought to yourself like, man, it would have been kind of cool if this character would have used this ability here or this power here or this type of combo technique whatever you know what i'm saying they gave you all of that in this movie like i was just blown away and like i, I got i'm got a, a imdb right here right and i got the whole the whole cast and i'm not just saying i'm gonna just go through everybody but like like i like i was talking about how i'm gonna talk about certain characters i like dr strange is a badass like i like hold up like so, okay after you subscribe to my channel go back and look at my um uh, uh, I did the uh, 17 MCU films ranked from worst uh, to first, and I did that in November. And I ranked Doctor Strange, well, I ranked it, of course. And, you know, Doctor Strange was cool, and I was kind of disappointed in that movie. You know, you can go check out my review for it, or go check out that video um, to kind of see why. But, man, Doctor Strange came through with the uh, the, the Sorcerer Supreme. Yeah, I, Like, you know, I am Doctor Strange. Sorcerer Supreme. If you're a comic book geek like me, you, you know what I'm saying? You know what that is. And I'm not saying that that's in the movie or not or whatever, but... I'm just saying, Doctor Strange came through or whatever, and just like you know, he he was doing the the magic and the mysticism and all that, and I was blown away. Just like the little mannerisms, like you know, he like he doing a cuddle or a form, and he getting to it, you know, he uh, 
making little magic stuff pop up on the screen, just the way he was moving his hands, like the way he was just squaring up, like he wasn't scared, like you know, uh, uh, Doctor Strange about that life, like for real, you know what I'm saying? Like, like hold up, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm like shit, like I was like, I was, like, like seriously, like about four or five times when I was watching the movie, I was just like hold up, like I just said that, you know what I'm saying? And I couldn't help it because usually I'm like the type of person that's like, man, y'all better shut the f up, don't ruin this movie for me. You know what I'm saying? But like I was just like, I was like it was a few moments where he just came through and I'm like, oh, hold on, Benedict Cumberbatch. I didn't know you was like <laughs> Like, he was, like, squaring up, like, on some people, like, it was in the streets, like, he was in a box, but it was, like, magic, like, magic boxing, like, I was, like, like, this is, like, amazing, like, I'm only into one character, like, you know what I'm saying, like, I, <laughs> like, he was, I'm, I'm impressed, like, I, I'm, like, he was doing this thing at the beginning of the movie, but it was just, okay, you saw in the trailers that he was on Titan, you know what I'm saying, but it like it was just it, uh, my voice is cracking like it was it was nice or whatever it, it was cool and, like I was just like I, <laughs> I cannot wait to see this movie again like okay so Doctor Strange is dope you know what I'm saying and so I heard other people talking about you know like um, some other reviews like okay the Guardians of the Galaxy that that's their favorite and then Thor too what Thor is another bad ass in this movie like seriously like man like this dude hurt like he just oh like. <laughs> Like I'm like a set like I'm like I'm I just, like it's just, <laughs> like he was just that bad ass to me like man you like seriously like seriously Thor is like just like one of my like favorite Avengers now you know what I'm saying I've always liked Thor but like I just like him on a whole another level now you know what I'm saying because we had the third the first Thor movie that came out in 2011 directed by uh, Kenneth Branagh the guy that did uh. Cinderella, 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 that was great, you know, he did some other stuff, um, he also, did, what did he do, the, 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 not the Pineapple Express, the, the Oriental Express or whatever, Thor 2011, it, it was alright, man, that's kind of the bottom for me, and then, you know, Thor The Dark World, you know, nah. and then, um, you know, we had Thor Ragnarok just come out of November, now, at the time, um, that movie came out, uh, Thor Ragnarok, that was my number five uh, ranked MC movie, and I loved him in that, Man, this Thor and this movie craps on Thor Ragnarok as far as like the Thorness or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh my goodness gracious. Dude, Thor knows how to make an entrance. And you know, it's like with these Marvel Cinematic Universes, you know, you got your action figures and you know, everybody all swollen and stuff like that. And they always got to come up with some type of creative way to get the, 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 the am I even in, oh, hold on, let me, I'm so excited, hold on guys, let me, let me send it a little bit, my, Oh, you got the white over there. Okay, my bad. That's why I did that. Okay. Anyway, uh, my bad. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what what was I talking? Okay, you know they always like had to have them. You know, like pose some type of way. You know what I'm saying? Scoot over. I ain't letting this. I'm having fun. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do it like that. Make sure. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, you don't care. So they always got to do that. So like, for example, in Captain America: Civil War. When uh, Captain America's Chris Evans, when he was holding the uh, the bottom of the the helicopter, and then the, you know the the roof, I don't know the bar, it, it was something up there, and he was just flexing. It was all badass, and all the women going crazy, you know, in the movie. Like, oh my God, the monsters! And then like when Killmonger and Black Panther, when he took off his shirt, you know, when they was fighting at the waterfall, I heard like a girl was so dang excited she broke her retainer. Like God, God, dog, like you know, I need to do some push-ups. You know what I'm saying? But in this right here, you know, they, you, you see, you, you, I'm not saying that, this is in the trailer or whatever, but like, dude, the, it was this one scene where they just had Thor just up there just looking like the badass of all badass and just like flexing his ass off, like, just flexing, like, oh, like the ultimate, like, manliness of manliness. Like, if I don't flex hard and I'm flexing now, everybody gonna die. Flex, oh, I was in there just like, oh, and I don't look like Thor, I don't got his muscles, but I, oh, it was just like that. It was, it was, it's like the story, how do you write in a story a good way for somebody to flex? You know what I'm saying? Usually that's just like, oh, this is just a shot where they want to take off the shirt and show all the muscles. This is no sudden. No, they gave a scene of flexing substance. So that's just like, you know, <clears throat> Dr. Strange is a badass. Thor is a badass. Uh, Iron Man like took his armor up to like infinity levels in this movie Infinity War like seriously like Iron Man was pulling sh 
I am trying to because he was pulling stuff out of everywhere. I'm like, God damn, man! Like, uh, I don't know. He must have went to uh, <coughs> I don't know what he did. <clears throat> I was trying to come up with something clever to say, but I couldn't think about nothing. But it, Iron Man was a badass too. But, you know, he a badass in really all of his movies. I wasn't expecting Iron Man not to do uh, anything. And when I'm watching these trailers, I had so many... Of course, you have questions. I mean, they're tempting you. That's the point. But I just like how everything tied together. Like, okay, why is Spider-Man jumping out of the school bus right here? Or, you know, um, just everything in the trailers. Well, I was just wondering why, how that got here or whatever. They answered that, and this is freaking fantastic. Okay, let's take a break from the Avengers. Let's talk about, I've talked about Thanos, Doctor Strange, uh, Iron Man, and Thor. Let's talk about the Black Order. All of them was raw as hell. There were some people talking about Ebony Maw was raw, and, and, and then, no, all of them was cold as hell. All of them can fight, all of them can box, especially Eb let me, uh, Ebony Maw. That dude right there that was torturing Doctor Strange in the trailer that was going like this or whatever, man, that is a, he is a, I'm, man, I just want to, dude is just a straight up gangster, you know what I'm saying, what it just like, he's just the ultimate like, you know, S-H-I-T talker, you know what I'm saying, just like, look, we the Black Order and I serve Thanos, you know what I'm saying, monologue, 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 we gonna kill y'all, you know, be thankful that you, do you wanna, you wanna die by some stupid person over here that was drunk behind the wheel, or you wanna die by, I mean, he didn't say all of that, but I'm just saying like his dialogue and just, he had, he just like, he was just like his own character or whatever. He was, he just like, he was like swag-tastic. You know what I'm saying? Just like, I loved it. I love, I mean, like they had some fights in between him and Doctor Strange to where I was just like freaking mind blown. Like, golly, y'all, like y'all don't just, you just don't understand if you ain't seen this movie. Like for me, at least people are pretty giving this movie like a, you know, a B plus, uh, the Smoes, you know, uh, I like Smoes. I ain't, I ain't crapping on them. Uh, Christian gave it like a 4.3. Mark gave it like a 3.9. I jing Oh, man. Man, what? what hold up. We finna go to Rotten Tomatoes real quick, man. Like, look. Avengers Infinity War, 86%. Bull crap, man. This movie was off the chain. Like, seriously. Y'all know me. Y'all know I'm going to talk down on a movie. Not talk down on a movie, but if I don't, if, if a movie is not amazing, I'm not going to say it. And, I'm not going to say it's amazing if it's not amazing. You know what I'm saying? I talk down on Black Panther. I don't talk down on all these movies. This movie, I, I don't even care no more. Avengers Infinity War is my favorite movie out of the whole MCU with this eight. Man, I, but that's just for me. All film is subjective. You know what I'm saying? But I am 100% satisfied. Now, I'm not going to say that this movie is 100% perfect. I can nitpick it. And I'm going to just talk about that in a second. Hold on. Okay, I got some time. I'm, yeah. But guys, like I'm 100 satisfied. Like, oh my gosh, I'm sad. I cannot wait till this comes out on home video, Blu-ray, 4K, like in September, October, because it's gonna like I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm just saying, like, okay. For the longest time in my life, I was like, man, I would, I love movies. I would just love for me to have this, you know, my own spot with this a nice size TV. Just a beautiful display. And, when you know, for, for a while, you know, I wasn't able to do it. You know, you got to save and take care of responsibilities. But I was finally able to, you know, knock that off. So when I was watching this movie, I just said, I, just said, I kept saying like at least 17,000 times. I was like, I cannot wait till I have this movie at home so I can just watch it over and over and over and over and over again. Because, like, I love this movie. Like, the oh, God, dog. Oh. Like, the action in this movie was just really a dream come true for me, guys. It just really was. I can't stop thinking about just how, like, how much I loved it. Oh, okay. I just got to, I, I had to come down. All right. So, I'm done with Rotten Tomatoes. I was talking about the Black Order. Ebony Raw, uh, Ebony Maul. He was, like, all of them was not, you had, okay, Ebony Maul. Uh, I like I like I just liked his swag and his dialogue and just his voice. You know what I'm saying? Just I liked his powers too, and I don't know much about him. Now you had that bit that other big um uh, um uh, guy from the Black Order. Um, uh, I forgot his name. I don't know the Black Order that well. The big dude, the look like Hulk. He was cool too. I liked his abilities and things like that. Um, there was not much dialogue for him, but he was still strong as hell, and I liked that. Um. What was the Corvus Glaive and um I don't know what are these what are these characters' names? Excuse me. 
Corvus Glaive, the dude with the glaive, I liked him. I like what he was doing with his weapon. And then the other one, I liked her too. She uh she talked a lot of crap. Uh Peter Dinklage in this movie. Uh, you know, he he was cool. Uh I like I kinda like what they did with him. Kinda gave you some things. Uh I ain't even want to talk about it. I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna say that I liked them. Okay. Uh do I, let me see. Okay, we I taught let's um da 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 uh, Chris Evans made a, uh, a clean ass entrance. Everybody was clapping. Every, everybody in the theater clapped when uh, Chris Evans first popped on the screen and Thor. Uh, I like the weapons that uh, War Machine had with his updated thing. Spider Man, I, I like what they did with him uh, as the relationship with Tony and uh, Spider Man. I really do like that. That was nice. Um, it really, really was. I really do get a sense that Iron Man really does care about Tom, not Tom Holland, Peter Parker, Spider-Man. Like he, he really does genuinely care. Uh, you know, I've heard people complain. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not talking to the mic. I've heard people complain that they don't feel that, uh, Iron Man, Tony Stark really cares about, you know, Peter Parker in the MCU that he's possibly just using him. And no, there, there was um, a nice uh, relationship that they had, um, in this movie. Everything in Wakanda was dope as hell. Um, I like the strategy of them that everything you saw in the trailers, I really do like that. Um, yeah, there was nothing in Wakanda that I did not like. Um, I got to see some different type of acrobatics with Black Panther as well. Uh, when he was fighting too, I got some really great performances from Zoe uh, Saldana or Gamora. You know, I, I do like her. You, of course, you get a lot of backstory with her and uh, Thanos, and um, you know, because she is the daughter of Thanos, and um, it was nice. It was rich, and the effects was great, and I really felt like I was there. You know, like I I, I loved all that. Uh, let's see here. Let's see now. Vision. Let's talk about Vision a little bit here. What do I want to say without spoiling anything? Um, I liked his mindset in this movie. I, I wasn't trying to make a pun since he has the mindset in his stone, but, you know, um, sometimes... Damn, I don't want to spoil... No, I, well, I'll just say this. I really like Vision in this movie, but... I could have got a little more for him. And you're probably thinking something and I I'm one I'm really positive that um you're not thinking what I think you're thinking. <clears throat> uh let's see here, let's see. Now I will say this. This is the 19th film in the whole cinematic universe, right? Uh, and when this movie ended, I was like, "Oh, my gosh, it was just so much. It was, it was a great ending, but it was just like so much. Everybody was quiet. And I was saying to myself, like, the whole MCU is kind of just like one big movie. Like, you know, when when directors and producers and actors, actresses, when they are doing promotions and, and marketing for their films and they do the feature rest and the interviews, I, I mean, I watch a lot of them and you can tell a lot of times where they're just ad-libbing and just saying stuff and don't really mean it. I mean, they're actors, they're actresses and things like that. Not the directors and, then, <clears throat> and all that. But you heard that Russo was talking about how, you know, the whole thing is like chapters and, you know, this is the final chapter in the book. It really does feel like that. Like, yeah, you you think you may know what I'm saying if you haven't seen if you if you haven't seen the movie, but if you haven't seen the movie, you really don't know what I'm saying. It's kind of like you know how in any movie, <clears throat> to where at the very end you have the climactic action scene. This whole movie was a cl a climactic action scene. It's like it's literally phase one was the first act, phase two was the second act. And, you know, phase three was, I guess, the third act of the film in Avengers Infinity War is like a giant bonus action scene. I mean, like, I don't, I, there, there, there is no possible way. I, I mean, seriously, the action in this movie was freaking phenomenal. But I, I keep talking about the action. Now, Every I said that this is my favorite film in the whole Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now, is it the best? That is a tricky question because... This film here had to accomplish so much more than a single film. So I really don't even like to compare it that way. But so if I were to say, is it the best? Like, did they um, execute everything? No. But let's say Iron Man 1. That right now, to me, is the best in the whole MCU. You, you, I, I talked about why. 
And I, I mean, as far as execution, it's not my favorite, but I found that it's the best. But let's just say Iron Man 1 had, let's say, just 20 things that it had to check off to be perfect. Avengers Infinity War has 772 things that they needed to check off to be perfect. 20 to 762. <clears throat> So while Iron Man 1 over here may have checked off all 20, Avengers Infinity War may have checked off 745. You know what I'm saying? It had much more to accomplish than this over here. So while it wasn't, may not, this particular movie may not have been perfectly executed, like 10 out of 10, they didn't make a mistake in the whole thing. You know, Iron Man, you get what I'm saying. But guys, this movie is just freaking uh, badass because... Uh, the pacing was well. I love the very beginning. I love the very end. There was a part in the middle of it that did drag just a little bit, but not bad because um, it just wasn't as as uplifting as everything else. You know what I'm saying? Um, as far there is a character in this movie that did something incredibly stupid to me, and I'm just like, dude, what the f is wrong with you? You are getting way too emotional right now. Then this movie is full of emotion. You're gonna be emotional. You're gonna be like, oh, ah, uh, yeah, ah. Uh. But I'm just like, it was just this one character. I'm not, I was gonna tell you the bit, but I'm not. Uh, but I, you, I'm just like, why, 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 why would you do that? But it's not even like, you know, a big gripe here. I mean, like, like I said, you had, I, I could nitpick it here and there, this movie. Uh, but I really don't, like, I, I just enjoyed the hell out of this thing, man. Like, real talk. Seriously, it was just, oh man, it was just, it, uh, so Thanos, I talked about the Black Order, I talked about um, a few of the Avengers, don't want to talk about anybody else, the, the story, you're you're going to be so surprised, you're not going to guess the story, the plot made sense, the, the, the plan that the Avengers came up with to take to fight Thanos on Titan, I love the plan, I love the plan, um, and just like, just little nuggets here and you got like so many different things to for more character backstory just you know like where they come from and i don't know i don't want to i don't want to spoil that i don't want to spoil that i don't want to spoil that but i do love the plan that the avengers came with on earth when it was in new york when it was on titan um i i would say something about the guardians drax He almost got on my nerve. He almost got on my nerve because I was laughing at him at first, but then I was I, for a second. I was like, "Bro, you just ain't here from making jokes." But then it wasn't the case. So I, he almost he almost got on my nerve. Man, what else, man? Uh, oh, this this movie was. Uh, I don't want. I didn't want to write no notes. I'm just like I'm just freestyling this thing because I'm just I'm like gushing everywhere. I have no. The, there's one credit scene and it is a great credit scene. Um, <clears throat> I cannot wait. They. Uh, this movie has a great conclusion, but it also teases the F out of you, man. Oh, man. Like, it, it just does. I cannot wait to see Ant-Man and the Wasp. I cannot wait to see Captain Marvel. I cannot wait for Avengers 4 that comes. I cannot wait to see this movie again, guys. Like, seriously, my expectations were still the roof. And I can honestly say that my expectations was met. My expectations wasn't met with Black Panther. But my expectations was through the roof. I wanted it to be a perfect 10. My expectations wasn't met entirely with Captain America Civil War. I wanted it to be a perfect 10. It wasn't a perfect 10. You know, like, um, I, you know, and then you got Winter Soldier and Iron Man is what I consider the best. But at the same time, like, while they may be the best, like, seriously, y'all, Avengers Infinity War, this is my favorite in the whole MCU. This is my favorite comic book movie. I'm a 100% satisfied. Like, man, like, I got I got everything I, I wanted. I got my character development in all the other movies. I got all my story in the other movies. And everything that they did with Thanos was, it was, oh, it was just so beautiful. And it pays off if you see every film, guys. Like, just, if you, if you can wait, and if you watch all other films, you will enjoy it more. Um... If you haven't seen all the films, there may be a character or two to pop up and you're going to be like, who is that? But you can just follow it. But I mean, there was just, just action beats in this movie. You know, a uh, character that I didn't think I was going to see pop up here and there. I call back to this, you know, some dialogue. I love this movie. Like, oh, I cannot wait to set it. I may try to go see it again Friday when I get off work. But uh, guys, uh, did, like, so please subscribe to my channel. Go back and look at my Captain America Civil War review. 
Go back and look at my Captain America. Uh, no, my Thor Ragnarok view. Go back and look at my Mac. Uh, go look. Go back and look at my Thor Ragnarok view. Go back and look at my uh, my uh, top ten comic book movies rated of all time and my MCU rank from worst to first after Thor Ragnarok. I'm gonna do that again, but after M Man. Guys, I freaking love this film. I said this 17,000 times. If I had to rate Avengers Infinity War out of a 1 out of 10, I'm giving this a 9.5 because it was just that dope to me, even though with some nitpicks here and there, you know what I'm saying, and the stupid character decision, there were so many other just, just golly, just lovely, light, lightning, heavenly, just wonderful moments that just will make you geek as a comic book fan that I don't even care, man, like... I, like oh gosh like I, I enjoyed this more than black I, this is my favorite a 9.5 I said that man go see this movie I saw it in IMAX real IMAX I'll talk about that later in my spoiler review but y'all that is just my opinion of this dope ass movie Avengers Infinity War uh, I'm going out of control what you think have you seen the movie do you want to see it have I turned you on have I turned you off do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know down in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you don't, man, I don't care because I like this video and I'm a thumb up it myself. And you can also subscribe to my channel. You know, uh, go to my website, check me out that book market and also look me up on social media. And uh, guys, uh, yeah, it's right there at the bottom of your screen and I made it very easy by providing a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below. Thank you, Kevin Feige. Thank you, Anthony and Joe Russo. Thank you, Marvels, for giving such a great movie i really did enjoy this movie um a, a whole a whole ton a whole lot so uh um and before i go guys just don't uh i don't forgot my outro forget that my name is brandon keith Avery, and that's just my opinion peace